Hi guys, it's James here from Optics Warehouse, your night vision and hunting specialist, and today I'm here to talk about probably one of the best hunting scopes on the market at the moment, uh, and that is the Schmitten Bender 2.5 to 10 by 56. Now, we are all aware of the classic 8 by 56, which in my personal opinion is the best magnification and best objective um, configuration you can get on the market. No, it's nice and easy to use, simple point and shoot, nice sort of 4A, 7A style reticle inside there, easy, away you go. Now, of course, with the classic range, there's a, there's a bit more a bit more versatility to it now. As I say, you've got the 2.5 to 10 here, or you've got the 3 to 12 by 50, both of which obviously are very good scopes in their own right. And what I've actually got here is the first focal plane version. So what that allows you to do is, of course, those of you who don't know what first focal plane means, means that the reticle actually magnifies as you magnify as well. So the reticle gets bigger, so you don't need to worry about too much about your holdover on there because it should be the same on various different magnifications. What I've also got on the back here today is I have a Trigger Cam 2.1. Uh, this is one of the latest things obviously we've been able to be able to get a hold of so that we can actually test and actually show you through the scope as well. It's really been on the market now for a good good sort of year or so and it has shown its worth um, without a doubt. So just going over the scope of course you know I've done a, a couple of videos going through the Schmidt and Bender range but as I say the two and a half to ten here what I'm going to do we've got a field we've actually got some horses out and about don't worry the rifle isn't loaded there's no bolt no magazine in it anything like that at all got some horses out about 400 yards and then we're going to go to sort of some bales at the top you may have seen it in some of our other thermal videos but I say going to some bales at the top pushing that sort of 600 700 yards and what I want to show you is the absolute clarity through this scope here. I mean, we're talking here now, it's sort of like three, four o'clock-ish here at the moment. Yes, it's the middle of September, so we're not expecting this amount of sun, but as I say, what it should allow you to do is actually still really draw out various different bits and pieces. And there's actually, because there's a power line going across, there's small white bits in it, and you'll be able to see that when I highlight that over a sort of dark area, how much they actually draw out. So without further ado, let's have a look, and we will uh, we'll see exactly what's going on through this Schmidt and Bender. So you can see here are some horses that I've just decided to magnify up in. We're looking at sort of 300, 350 yards of these ones. See how sharp that illuminated reticle really does get drawn out of the actual scope itself. And you can really see the different shades of green going up and then just moving up to the hedge there. Big pile of dirt, you're looking at sort of four or 500 yards for that one. So again, even if there was a deer out there, you'd be able to quite easily identify what's going on. And just moving along the hedgerow, See so the gate at the top there, and then moving down again, different shades of green, really being able to draw up using as much light as possible through this day scope uh, that can allow you to actually see what is going on. And there's those power lines, as I say, just going across, just as I magnify up, it just goes slightly out of focus, say, because it's a first focal plane um, scope using the uh, the actual tactic cam itself, but you still will be able to see the sort of clarity you're gonna get as I magnify in there. Nice big hole there in the distance. Uh, it's almost 300 yards that one so if a deer jumped up there easy and away you go moving on up these sheep actually are clocked in at sort of just around 800 yards they are a fair old distance especially this top sheep pushing near sort of 900 yards so we're just looking here mangling right up using the full range of magnification up to 10 times mag and as you can see you can very visibly see what is going on there what these animals are really I say the different shades you're getting you see a bit of the dead grass going up there as well as we sort of come into that autumn time and looking at those trees in the background absolute clarity and pushing over sort of like a thousand yards that sort of distance over just to so see a house in the background but coming across those power lines just across that top hedgerow you can see every single detail so guys, that was just a brief run through of the Schmidt and Bender 2.5 to 10 by 56 Classic. We have plenty of these available in stock as well as the 3 to 12 by 50s. I picked the 56 today because I just I just wanted to show you just a real sort of light dispersion, real light transmission you get with a big objective bell of the Schmidt and Bender. Just to run you through some of the other bits I've been using today, I've been using the Tier 1 Picatinny High standard um, standard 30mm mounts. As you can see, with tier one, obviously their mounts are, they are listed as high, but as you can see here with a 56 mil, I've still got like a small amount of clearance there. And a nice little bubble level on the back as there as well. So I can just check to say, yeah, right, okay, the rifle's level, away you go sort of thing. 
whole setup has been held up by this nice steady Vanguard Endeavour. Um, fantastic bit of kit, nice lightweight tripod. This is the aluminium one, so it comes in a bit more affordable than the carbon one, but still a nice lightweight construction with a bit of versatility, as you saw there when I actually adjusted from being in a fixed position to more of a moved around position. Even now when I haven't sort of properly locked it in, you can sort of see that it is, there you go, if I just sort of loosen it up a bit, you can still sort of see it is still relatively stable, so you're not really gonna be moving anywhere too much. And it's obviously it's gonna it's gonna hold its position quite well, so I can quite happily let that one go, and there'll be no issues there at all. As always, guys, if you've got any questions, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Of course, any of the gear here we've shown you here today, of course, main focus is on the Schmidt and Bender. Drops an email, drops a phone call. We're always there in the end, to try and give you our best advice possible. But I've been James, your night vision hunting specialist, and this has been another video from Optics Warehouse.